Athletes shake hands in the middle. And we begin. Bulgarian immediately takes a left collar grip. The Russian strips it and is using foot sweeps Ashiwaza to try to create movement. It appears that the Bulgarian is looking for this as well. Using those inside foot sweeps. Kuchigari if you're using judo terminology. Bulgarian's whipping that, that sleeve of the Russian, trying to create movement. The principle at work here is called Kazushi in judo. And it's just the, the art of breaking your opponent's balance. And the Russian, right on the edge of the mat, gets a beautiful textbook Uchimata. Textbook. Fights, 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 and then dumps his opponent over. That was four points because the opponent's back was exposed to the mat. Amazing. Bulgarian grips over the top and was looking for an inside uh, inside trip right there. Oh, Uchigari, not able to get it. Under four minutes left. Bulgarian goes for a grapevine throw, gets two points. In Russian, they call that a viv. Very cool dynamic throw. That's rare to see. Wasn't able to completely turn the Russian over, but still amazing to watch. Here they show the replay of it right now. Look at that. Both have a very upright posture. They are looking to throw. Bulgarian with the right lapel grip. Looks like he has a double lapel grip at this point. Oh, he pulled off onto the left. He might be looking for an over the back grip or trying to isolate one of the arms. Going for that inside. Looks like he's appearing to combine the inside trip uh, with the grapevine throw, the Aviv. Looks like Russian is threatening with an ankle pick, the inside sweeping ankle pick. You see characteristic of uh, some Sambo athletes. That's actually a very pop popular technique in Mongolian wrestling. Russian goes for the fireman's carry, unsuccessful. The Bulgarian sprawls. Russian strips those lapel grips rather easily. Bulgarian has a high left collar grip. And perfect throw. Perfect throw from the Russian. Another textbook Uchimata. That would probably be total victory. No, since he landed on his side, that would be four points. But since... So that would be four points. It's now 8-2, right? Right, here we go. We have two Uchimata from the Russian at four points for a total of eight. Russian goes for that Uchimata again, not able to complete it. And of course, of course the Bulgarian had that grapevine throw. Some big, big throws going on in this match. As I predicted. Okay, so Russian has that left lapel grip again. Will he look for the Uchimata? He dove back for it there. A little non-committal on that one. With only a minute 33 left, perhaps he is trying to run down the clock some. Again, the score is 8-2. Takarov, Russia is in the lead. Russian goes for the Diashi Harai right there. Checking his opponent, perhaps to set something up. I have a low stance using armpit grips right now. Armpit grips are very powerful because they do control the opponent's shoulder girdle. Makes it difficult for them to turn. 
for more classic turning throws. Bulgarian with the cross grip so he can set up his left lapel grip. He is going for that same setup again. Shoved onto the ground here, let's see. The Russian goes to take his back, possibly sliding over to threaten with an arm bar, but they stop the action. 47 seconds left, Russia in the lead, 8-2. Little break to tie his shoes. Back to the center of the mat, 47 seconds left. Left lapel grip from the Russian. Bulgarian is looking to hook that leg again. There, he keeps going for it. But since the, since the Russian was taking multiple steps backwards without countering, he is given a caution for inactivity, for fleeing the fight. Bulgarian is looking for that armpit grip again. There he's going for that grapevine. And he's able to dump the Russian again. Not turn him over completely, but put him on his stomach. So that is one point, it's 8-3. Russia still in the lead by quite a bit with 22 seconds left in the match. The Russian appearing to stall, so they give him a warning second of these penalties is called a warning and it is given and a point is given to the opponent high sleeve armpit grip from the Bulgarian Russian goes for a drop Seonage not able to complete it Bulgarian vaults over the top going forward again here we go Russian framing out tapping inside going for sacrifice throw Tomonage not able to complete the match is over with and from Russia in red, we have Roman Takarov as the winner. Very commanding performance. Both of those throws were amazing. And the second throw probably would have been total victory if the Bulgarian had not 